You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. <laughs> no. No, no, no. My sister? Oh, God. All I have to do is betray my own sister. And you'll let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. How was that? That was amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Rad. How did we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh... Let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? She's wilding out. <laughs> What's up, friends? We are back with some more of the casting of Frank Stone. Yeah, let's... Do we want to get defensive? Probably not. Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision, and this is Chris's film, so... Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, okay? You did it your way, now we do it my way. <laughs> Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. 
If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, more you guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you Miss Castle and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Yeah, that, that's our man from the prologue, Mr. Green. I don't... There's no need to push back. Oh, man. Sir, we're, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh... Don't forget to clean up. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad, usually. We're not going to do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. out sir now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me I'll be watching yes sir
complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who were the victims? Just people, some from the town, some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but, like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kinda spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kinda shit out of luck. Episode! What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. <laughs> mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and 
You've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Ten bucks? That's all it's going to cost? Nervous, casual. Just like ten bucks? So, let's say, hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure. Of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda! <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer? You can borrow my van. Uh, all right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Vans are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, nope. try again. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. You all right there? You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh. It did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah. At any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Oh, I don't know. Which one would you go to? It doesn't seem like either one's a better option. Let's see what's over here. This will be more interesting. Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? Yes, I get it. Lead the way. Man. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still have the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello? Hello? We saw the cameras. 
we're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please, come on inside. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... We're finally in control. Maybe this one. Let's see what we can find. Where did I put all oh, the... Oh, gotta go to the other side. How has this place become such a mess? Oh, cute bunny. Oh, it's the trinket box. This is like the collector. Still got, I think, ten more to find. Whoever Dear owned Mr. this place Olson. before had some lousy luck. Nothing on the back. Let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Gonna go against the sheriff's wishes. Oh, we got a door over here? There's probably so much in here. We really should be going back here. That can help. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, let's go down the middle. Nothing else. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. It looks like a murderer's weapon. A button. Near the red room. Who would want to watch this creep fest? Appears to be something on the other side. Let's see. Oh, down here. Is 
too dark. It's just film. Uh oh. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. What? No thanks. Why would that be in here? All right, I think that's it, because... running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting, like, so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ten bucks. Feels a little high. I mean, for a camera, I know it's the 80s, but that's what you have, so. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? So we were going to the drugstore anyways. There we go. Finally got another one. Waterlogged shoe. Oh, is this the it's the trinket box again? All right, well, we already know what, what would be in there. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Andy Dean, supposed to be like James Dean? Oh, what do we got over here? Anything? Doesn't look like it. Should we ring the bell? Let's see what's over here. Fear trap. Yeah, I think that's it. Chris. Robert, 
Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so we're about to close in, like, two minutes, so... Oh, right. Yeah, I need to get some milk, but couldn't find any. I got you. One milk. One milk. <laughs> Thanks. No sweat. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if... You're into that kind of thing? Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey! Dad, yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Chris, I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. We're still gonna finish our movie. Yeah, you, come on, you can't say that to him. You gotta respect him a little bit. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art?
Bad dream? Ugh. How long was I out? I... I don't even remember falling asleep. Fifteen... twenty minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait... What happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> what are you waiting for? So this is the Linda from what we just witnessed with she and Chris and Jaime and them. So we're getting backstory on each one of these. What are you waiting for? Well, now, this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. <laughs> but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. How do you know about Murder Mill? The Augustine thing is interesting, so she seems to be pulling the strings everywhere based on what we're seeing. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber, a elite collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but... Plays a long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay, 
Now it's your turn. My turn for what? I told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. Huh. And a belt. Now, Dude, that what? was a curious sound. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants oh, that from door his opened. guy's guy. Had him tailored. All right, chest. let's look around a little more. The guy I know who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> Although I don't think there really is anything here. else. Sure. Found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> don't tell anyone. Oh, you can be sure of that. What's up here? Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait, H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it. How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I am. Um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... touching. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. This dude's a jerk. Alright. I don't know if I want to go up there because... Let's see what's back here. Oh. Found the jackpot. Looks like practically every room in the house. Except the one that has no signal. Where's our host? Nowhere to be found. Anything else in here? She building something? <laughs> She's building this to put in the steel mill? Bring Frank Stone back. 
yeah, temporal machine. Now we will go upstairs. Interested where the story's gonna go. I mean, we know the motive behind Augustine, but now all these people are tied somehow. We don't know about Stan because he's not saying anything. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. But so far, that's Linda. Madison's tied to Jaime. This the this is the trinket box again. Reminding us we need to find more. Looks like it opens with a key. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Looks like it's missing the middle piece, though. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. interesting all right we can't go any further so just those two pages i should check on maddie can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past Yeah? And what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I, I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. 
We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there. Oh, we got more options. They might be after the film strips. Mm. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Well, good security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. I've just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get, like, every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No. Tell me more. I've spent, like, all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and, yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I ain't, please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official...
official member of the team. Gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Hmm. It's a tough choice. You never know where this is going to branch to, so. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to, like, exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. Yeah, uh, we'll agree with her for now. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We've only got one shot at this. Yeah. So, let's not fuck it up. Can we help? Nah, Robert and I will go through and see if there's any other good places in the mill to shoot. Then we'll head out. Look around the garage. I'm sure no one was sad to see it go. It was in 1921. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's gotta be something we haven't Our found. Alyssa sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. We'll find it. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it, it goes into the mindset of the I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone they stuff. Depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank... I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was. An omniverse? Why he did or what he did or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. I pulled some of these today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders and a little before. Oh, good thinking. Got the old cassette player. Oh, we already know what that is. I don't have any new trinkets. Stop teasing me or making fun of me because I don't have any. I'm sure I've missed them. Oh, wait, what's this? Tom Holt interview. Oh, I think we need to, can we take it over to the, let's 
Yeah, there we go. anything like that now before or since and don't reckon I ever will again <laughs> heck I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green man's a hero damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit damn crying shame he all but gave up on finding stone at the mill Sam Green he knew better he came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Interesting we got to hear from Tom again. Nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. No more edits. I can't believe mom's finally getting out. I can't wait. I think we're ready to talk to Linda. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film, like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. Hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Oh, yes! Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank! It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. 